It is a big day for restaurant and bar owners in Baltimore. Just about a half hour ago, restrictions on dining loosened for the first time in six weeks. WJZ is live in Federal Hill. Annie Rose Ramos explains these new changes. Annie Rose? Lynn and Tim, good morning. This is the news restaurant owners have been waiting to hear. Diners will be welcomed back both indoors and outdoors, but it comes with a few restrictions. This is a life changer. We can't wait. We're so excited to welcome people back in. Restaurant owners in Baltimore City are thrilled after Mayor Brandon Scott's announcement that starting today, in person dining is back. With the most recent leveling in cases, I have made the decision to adjust our city's COVID 19 mandates. Starting at 6 a.m. today, city restaurants can open outdoor dining at up to 50% capacity, and indoor dining is allowed at up to 25% capacity. But now diners are limited to a one hour visit, and restaurants must have a sign in and sign out sheet for patrons and staff. Mayor Scott says the decision was made after key public indicators showed improvement in Baltimore, including a new case and hospitalization utilization, both being down and the city now having the lowest positivity rate in the state. Uh, the decision to reopen was made simply from a question being asked to the health commissioner if it's okay for us to do this at this point. Now, these new mandates are expected to remain in place for the, for the next four weeks at least. And, Tim, you can expect to see that these, uh, these new changes are going to apply also to bars that don't serve food so that they can open up, up again, too. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ. Thank you, Annie Rose. 635 now powering down virtual learning. Governor Larry Hogan is demanding schools reopen for at least some in person learning by March. Now, this comes as more than 2,100 new coronavirus cases are reported in our state. Hospitalizations and the positivity rate are down slightly. Amy Kawada has the governor's strong message. There is no public health reason for school boards to be keeping students out of schools. None. A strong message from Governor Hogan calling on all Maryland schools to reopen for at least some in person learning by March 1st. But if a school systems do not immediately begin a good faith effort to return to the classrooms, um, we will explore every legal avenue at our disposal. But some parents and students are pushing back. I don't think it's a good idea to open schools back up, especially without vaccinating all teachers and students. While others are on the fence. Not 100% sure. Yeah. Um, it's a pretty tough decision. This comes as teachers and support staff in Maryland just became eligible for vaccines this week, but the distribution has been slower than expected. The Baltimore Teachers Union released a statement saying the governor should focus on accelerating the vaccine rollout and getting city schools the resources they need to create healthy learning environments. During a virtual town hall, Baltimore City Public Schools discussed in person learning for the second semester. Officials tried to reassure the community they have a safe reopening plan. What we've seen is that we've developed the systems, the protocols um, to safely mitigate a return to uh, the, the COVID factors to facilitate a return to school. But parents like Hugh Bethel fear when kids do go back to school, it won't be an easy transition. How do you really pick back up and you know, get to where you were? without a lot of remedial attention, and that's going to be the real challenge. And during the governor's press conference, Dr. Jin Lin Chan with the State Department of Health says school reopening decisions should not be based on the availability of vaccines or how many staff members have received the shot. For WJZ, I'm Amy Kawada. Here's a look inside the State Fairgrounds Vaccine Clinic. Ten members of the National Guard are on site helping with both medical and administrative tasks. Seniors 75 and older are getting their shots, and the wait is 15 minutes or less. Very efficiently run. Nice job, everybody. We have great grandchildren. We want to be able to hug them. We've been healthy most of our lives. We want to remain healthy, and this is one thing that would facilitate. Healthcare workers, teachers, and government workers are also eligible to get their vaccine. You do, do need an appointment to get one. Seniors without internet access can call 311, but everyone else must register online.